What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. In this video, we are taking out for a spin the Toner TC777 USB microphone. Let's go. Last year, I've been using a budget microphone called a Fifine K670, but here comes a brand new contender to that affordable price range. And the TC777 will set you back $41 or $42. I have seen it around that lower $40 price range. Links are down in the description. And this is a high quality cardio microphone. One of my favorite things about it is that there's no BS. It is a plug and play situation. So whether you're using Windows or Mac, you just plug it in and it's a driverless system. It just simply works when you plug it in. I really, really like the design of the microphone. It's made out of aluminum. It's got a hefty feel to it, but not heavy if you know what I mean. It doesn't feel cheap, feels secure, and I really like it. I also like their logo. It's kind of punk rockish. The package includes a tripod stand and I actually came to love the tripod situation more than the standard heavy bass version on different microphones because if you were to unintentionally knock it around if you're grabbing things in your desk it is less likely to tip over and break or drag things along. So I personally prefer more the tripod stand to the kind of like heavier bass mic stand. It also includes a mini shock mount and a mini pot filter. Just to keep it in perspective, this is the whole situation right now. I'm grabbing it by the tripod mount and it's kind of cool because I can pretty much do this and treat it like, I don't know, kind of like a handheld situation while I'm at my desk. But I just wanted you to see the size of the pot filter compared to like other pop filters that I currently own for different microphones. I have come to personally prefer bigger pop filters because bigger size, bigger range of area in terms of like, you know, you're speaking, if you're speaking to the left or to the right. But honestly, I appreciate how compact and small this whole situation is. It definitely takes a lot less space on my desk area and I like it and it gets the job done. Now from the beginning of this video, the audio that you're hearing is coming from the Toner TC777 microphone, but we're gonna go ahead and cycle through different options that I have here at my current setup, just so we can test the sound quality, not only when it's super quiet, when we're speaking, of course, but we're cycling between the Toner TC777, the built-in microphone on the Canon EOS R, and of course, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now as a bonus, I'm throwing in the mix the Fifine K670, which is a USB microphone that I have been using for the past year for you to be able to see what the difference sounds like on a similar budget-friendly microphone and see which one works best for you. So once again, the audio that you're listening to is being picked up by the Fifine K670. Now the audio that you're listening to right now is being captured by the PlayStation Platinum headphone and it's built-in microphone. And as you can hear, the audio quality that I may be putting out there into the world, not only for game streaming, or maybe I'm just communicating with the party, or maybe using this as a method of chatting and having conference calls at home is nowhere near close to the quality that we get with a built-in microphone or even the headphone mic on like phones. But when we switch over to the TC, triple seven, you could definitely impact heavily not only the streaming audio that you're sending over either on Twitch or YouTube, but then also if you're chatting with people on a game or having a Zoom meeting, you can leverage both, right? You have better audio with the game, but at the same time, you're being able to capture better audio, whether it's spoken word or you're just simply chatting with your friends online. Okay, this is a quiet test between the Toner TC triple seven the Canon EOS R's built-in microphones, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and the Fifine K670.
Now it's crazy when you compare all the different audio captures from the Toner TC 777, the Canon EOS R's built-in mic, or the iPhone 11 Pro Max a stereo microphone, right? How they pick up audio completely different. For my space, I personally feel that the TC777 does a really good job in not getting a lot of the echo that is present in my current room. I have a higher ceiling at a section of my apartment, so it definitely brings in a lot more echo, but I noticed that the Toner TC777 kind of minimizes that a little bit. The optimum range for performance on the Toner TC777 is probably about six-ish inches, six to eight inches away from the microphone. If I pull away too far, you can totally hear that now the pickup pattern is a little bit wider, right? But if I get closer to the microphone, you have a really nice proximity effect and it enhances the bass. So if you're using this for podcasts and you're gonna be close, kind of like at this specific distance, you're definitely gonna have some really good results with the quality of your voice. Now, personally, I think the audio quality of the Toner TC777 is fantastic when putting it in perspective that it's a $41 to $43 microphone, especially if you're starting your journey in podcasting, gaming, or maybe you're working from home, taking Zoom calls, or just simply recording and enhancing your voice over work, and you're trying to keep it at a low budget rate. I remember a couple of years ago, a $40 microphone would have never sounded like the Toner TC777. And it's crazy to know that we have these options that technology keeps evolving. In my current setup, I actually appreciate the fact that this microphone does not capture a lot of the environment when compared to the previous microphones that I've been using this past year. So I might actually use this more often than none, especially if I'm here recording at home. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. Once again, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.